Hey everyone, Brick Maniac 81 here. Today we're going to be doing a review of set number 75314, the Bad Batch Attack Shuttle. So the Bad Batch Shuttle was released on August 1st of this year. It retailed for $99.99 US or $139.99 Canadian. It came with five figures and a droid, which really don't count as a figure. So we got Hunter, Wrecker, Tech, and Echo in their Bad Batch uniforms. And we have the Imperial Crosshair and a Gonk droid. As you're going to see from the, uh, what I've really noticed, the box shape, um, it reminds me a lot of the uh, Mandalorian ATST box. It's kind of a taller and skinnier box. Uh, kind of an upright box design but as far as box goes actually I really like the uh, really like the box art uh, you got the bad batch up in the top right corner they kind of went with that theme but yeah so you get the shuttle and you get a couple speeder bikes which actually uh, look pretty cool so I'm gonna show you so that's the front of the box and uh, you see some of the side art and in the back there, we've got kind of an action scene, battle scene. But yeah, let's uh, get to opening this bad boy. So I don't know about you guys, I always open everything up from the right side of the box. What do you guys do? Anyway, so, moment of truth. One seal. Two seals. I figured I'd save everyone's hearing instead of uh, crinkling bags and uh, causing hearing loss. I would just speed through this portion and uh, we'll pick up here once I lay out all the bags. There we have it. So, uh, yeah, let's get this built. <laughs> That's funny. Didn't work. Let's try it again. Perfect. Well, Let's get to breaking this set down. All right, so let's start with the minifigures. So, we've got Hunter, Imperial Crosshair, Tech, Echo, Wrecker, and a Gonk Droid. Also, as you can see, all the figures have back printing. And also, Echo is the only one that has an arm print on his, I guess that would be his prosthetic arm. But yeah, at least they all have back printing. It's pretty cool. Now, let's just do that because uh, Droid's not a figure. We're not going to count them in. We also got our face prints. Hunter, I always, uh, I always think he looks like Rambo. That's my thinking. Let's cross your face. Tech. Again, Echo and Wrecker. Also, Hunter has a dual printed head as well as Tech. And then you can see on the back of Echo, he has the uh, kind of the computer, or the, the computer chip on the back of his head. And then also Hunter and Tech both come with hair pieces. Tech looks like Bill Murray from Ghostbusters, that hair piece. Don't you think he looks like Peter Venkman? Let me know what you think in the comments. Next we have Crosshair and Hunter's speeder bikes. I was uh, pleasantly surprised with how detailed and uh, just how in-depth the build was on both these. Uh, Peg 1 actually took quite some time, especially uh, Crosshair Speeder Bike. This build is uh, really in-depth. I really enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, it actually looks really good. Move my hand here, but just a lot of... Uh, even though it's a lot of small pieces, 
lot went into make it, and it's actually a fairly large speeder bike. I really like it. Hunter's is quite a bit smaller. But again, there's uh, more pieces than you'd see in a normal speeder bike build. And uh, I think they're uh, quite cool. Lastly, what we all came for was the Bad Batch Attack Shuttle. This, uh, I built it over a few live streams. Actually, you know what? Originally, I bought this set uh, specifically for the minifigures. Uh, you tell you what, after building it, I was pleasantly surprised. I actually really enjoy the build. I actually think it looks pretty good. Um, as opposed to what you've probably heard. Um, there was a lot of complaints about it. Didn't think it was accurate. But you know what? Just take a good look at it here. I think it's quite a good build. Um, there are some downfalls to it as well. Um, the, the main one I'll show you here in a second. I fold the wings down just so you get a better look. But uh, what I found is basically, maybe you've seen already, but if uh, you're actually going to play with this model, you're automatically drawn, you want to grab it here, eh? Well, the second you do that, you're going to lift the whole cockpit and everything off. So yeah, kind of a kind of goof up, I think, in the design. They could have maybe thought that through a little better. The other issue is then you gotta grab it from underneath and you gotta be very careful because underneath are spring-loaded shooters and you can just uh, accidentally grab it and fire them off without really meaning to. So yeah, a couple little things that maybe they could have uh, thought through a little better. But yeah, all in all, pretty cool set. So what do you guys think? Is this a set you're going to be picking up in the next little while? You know, wait till we get to a good sale? Are you just going to buy the figs off Bricklink? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. But I hope you guys really enjoyed my review of the Bad Batch Attack Shuttle. I had a lot of fun building it. And uh, stay tuned for more content coming up in the channel in the near future. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you back here real soon. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye.